Hello everybody, welcome to week 10 Error BB. We've got Eliod and his three Wood Elf players, uh, four Wood Elf players, versus Danton and his Necromantic team. And Danton also gets a wizard. And Danton's team has gone from pretty decent, you know, like a, a Necro team that can do things, to pretty amazing actually, as he's got plus Adge on one wolf and Mighty Blow on the other. So both wolves have got way better now. Oh wow, and he's, uh, he's, we've got an instant twat magnet here. Instant twat, twat magnet from this tree. Um, and yeah, so Elio's got Adge 5, Rod Sure Hands, two Great Dancers, and a, a Nia Matter. So some big twat magnetism here, 75%, gets it. Big commitment to hit. But obviously if it uh, if it doesn't get up that's amazing, you can leave it on a zombie and be very, very happy. It does have sure hands versus the strippers. Both both dancers with tackle strip, sidestep. One's got mighty blow fend and the other's got dauntless. Interesting, because the mighty blow would be better with dauntless, wouldn't he really? He fails the take route. Stands up, so Elliot going for the hit here, but he's got he stand firm, so he's gonna be able to stand up. Wait, no, he doesn't stand firm. Okay, so I kind of hate that, right? I kind of hate not standing firm there, because if you stand firm, you've got the three D, like you've got the two D next turn with the uh, fleshy. But by not standing, now it becomes harder because he's your only guard. Hate that non-stand firm. Hate it. <laughs> like I can't hate it more. I guess like he's just gonna blitz this guy anyway. But Elliot should put somebody here. Or like maybe he's even here. Like Elliot Elliot should defend this guy because like dodge through put somebody here. So he can defend the tree and like keep it on. Like the tree pairing off against two fleshes is amazing. Like amazing value. Like I really think putting a player here was just too good for Elliot. You don't need to fucking cage you know, you don't need to do this. You don't need to screen here, you need to put somebody there so he can't do this blitz and this assist and bring someone else in and then 2D your tree. Oh, it hits with the guard. I'd have rather hit with the other one to get the guard away. But Dogs. Do you like dags? Elliot is obviously just going to screen and then go in when he kind of has to. Ooh, GFI foul. Two assists. Would have been three in Blood Bowl 3. Stand firm. Uh, yeah, absolutely for fluffy burrito. Absolutely, Necro are a good team. With two claws, they're just as bashy as anybody, right? Basically, you don't need more than two claws. So Necro end up as absolutely one of the bashiest teams. And they've got speed. They've got the annoying whites, rates, whatever. Very good team. Once they get all of this stuff. And regen as well, obviously, much, much better than the Apple. I think you just put the rookie rookie zombie on him, right? Rookie zombie on the tree and run everyone else away. You can even uh, put him there so that you can blitz him, yeah. Lovely. Pretty, pretty strong. I don't know what the win rate's like on Fumble or anything. Oh, I hate the foul. 
really hate the battle. I really hate the fleshy going, staying on the other side as well. Yeah, I hate that. I hate that just because, like, you know, you, you're still lying to trade, trade off on the... Uh, you're allowing the, the tree to trade two players instead of one. How did you just run away? Yeah, trying to get levels on race is annoying. But you'll get more concedes. Oh, shit. But imagine if the real concedes rules were in. And you got plenty of concedes and you could just allocate touchdowns to your race. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? <laughs> Actually amazing. But, you know, unfortunately... Uh, Blood Bowl 3, not so interested in following the rules of Blood Bowl. Despite that allegedly being the uh, USP of the uh, of the Blood Bowl 3, was that they were going to you know, really adhere to the actual rules of the tabletop. But they're not really adhering to any of them. Yep. I thought he'd have, uh, I thought he would have pushed the zombie to here so that he could have uh, blocked and followed up on the tree, but I guess, I mean, you know, he's anticipating the fleshy moving, so... Yeah, that's the thing, man. God, that, I can't believe how much that grinds my gears. I can't believe, like, and then, you know, and again, it's not the worst thing ever, is it, that the, you've got to declare, but it's still just like a stupidly pointless thing for a video game. It adds nothing. The reason you declare actions in tabletop is so that people know what's going on. <laughs> you can't just roll a random dice. <laughs> <laughs> for no reason. This is quite good that he can have uh, he can have these two near the tree, but obviously stand firm means they can't get pushed onto the tree. Because one of the things that you've got with trees, they don't just have like a nine, well, yeah, a nine square area of influence. They've kind of got a twenty-five square area of influence because if you, somebody stands here, you can blitz them into the tree. So really good having the stand firm guys to like stand in this this outer outer square of the tree for Eliod using the blitz to reposition the tree probably on the fleshy or just on both of these oh he can't get him on the both ah but he's on the he's on the white and the uh, Oh yeah, this is the this is the funniest thing. Yeah, all of these people who are like saying you've got to declare would be would be incensed if you if you pulled them up on it. And anybody who did pull somebody up in tabletop of not declaring, everyone would think you were a complete knobhead. Do you know what I mean? Like it wouldn't just be the person you were doing it to. Everybody in the whole place would think, what's this knobhead like insisting on declarations? Like it would be crazy. Oof, cheeky GFI. This is a terrible blitz target, isn't it? Like, it's not. It's not getting you forward here, is it? At all? Just switching around. But I mean, the elves are just faster than you, so switching around like this doesn't really achieve anything. So. Elliot, turn four, already probably breathing a sigh of relief here. This looks like a successful defence. Deep in their own half with three turns left. <laughs> and like Danton still has to protect the ball because the dancers can just leap in any time they want for a 1D. But obviously Elliot will still, still play conservative for another... Another two turns, and then turn seven, he might go for it. Yeah, yeah, blitz target. Yeah, 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 yeah. The bl yeah, originally they didn't have the defend the blitz target, which actually does mechanically matter for things like uh, foul beans. So yeah, you know, good stuff from Elliot. Got a big blob of players. 
not easy to force anything through. Danton might be... Hmm, I guess you can think of using the Wister's Force to score through. Or just, you know, run up a, a wolf or two as a potential receiving targets. Uh, mostly just doesn't want to get turned over. Like The, the thing is now, with absolutely zero penetration by turn six. You're really just wanting to get out of this draw at 0 I think. Maybe with a, a cheeky chance of a... A chance of a cheeky breakaway, but... <laughs> yeah. Uh, it is usually pretty conservative. We did see him try some, uh, you know, try, <laughs> did see him try some 3 plus leaps, but uh, they all failed. It's a removal. Really nice having this screen. Okay, well, not anymore. <laughs> so, <laughs> looking at this, this would have been really nice if this guy had been here to the screen here. But as it is, this, this guy can come one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? This guy can just come through on a two tag. This guy can tag, or some other guy can tag. Can tag him. He can leap in for a one day if he wants, but I don't think he will. But he could. Whereas if if he goes there, he can't. So maybe it's a deliberate move to encourage the the one day because I don't think the one day is a great play. Um, so maybe it's to encourage the one day. Don't like the mighty blows all the way out here, but maybe he couldn't have you know got like obviously you want the mighty blow central so you can see the way. This is shut down, isn't it? So you just you probably just blitz this uh, guy and stay in the way. Get the mighty blowback central. Yeah. Mr. Sackbait, yeah, that would pretty much was Sackbait, really. But I would still just not rather not leave it on, right? Because people can roll it. I would like even if it's the wrong decision to go for it, it can still just win him the game, like really easily. <laughs> even if you think that's wrong to go for that sack, it can still fucking easily win Elliot the game. <laughs> Ooh, double one doesn't let him break through though, does it? The best he could have hoped for. And it doesn't let him break through. Do you uphill the tree here? Put in all the assists to 2D the tree? He is going to 2D the tree. Let me... Hate assisting with a tackler. I don't wanna... Oh my god, look at this. Oh, he's just blitzing the tree. Oh man, so yeah, had to get them there so he could... So he could blitz it. And the fleshy goes there. And the wolf... The wolf's going to struggle to get into range. Just quietly. Like, double G if I does it even get there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He's blocked his way for it. I guess he's in range, isn't he? Huge fuck up. Shouldn't, shouldn't, should have not stood firm. Yeah, 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 that was. Yeah, yeah, that was a huge fuck up, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, I didn't even notice, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Oh, this is nice, though. Oh, wow. This is nice, though. Change the wolf back. Really nice. Ah, this is really nice. Oh yeah, standing him up. Oh dear. Yeah, this guy. 
should not have stood up. <laughs> he should not have used dodge. <laughs> Wait, what? He didn't use dodge. Well, he can't score, can he? That was right, not used dodge, right? He could have, he could have blitzed with a wolf. And pushed him to there. Right? Yeah, stunning him wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he could have done that, right? He could have pushed him there and then he could have both blitzed. Pushed him to there and then to there, right? Yeah. Could have done that. Or stand, stood and dodged, right? He could have stood and dodged off. Now we've got the dodge, the leap in. 1D pow. We've got a scoring threat. Hatch 5, sure hands. Fucking elves. Oh, tackle, oh, tackle. Ooh. Well, I wonder if the dodge was correct. Oh, I guess it was. And then fails the catch. Oh my god. <laughs> fails the catch. So, so close to a 1 0 win for. Well, not 1 0. 1 0 half time advantage for Elliot. Ooh, brutal chaos. Ah, I keep pressing Q. Too, you, imagine being too used to Blood Bowl 3, that's terrible. So for seven, seven elves and a shitty tree. Will we see the Eliod Daka? A bit dangerous, isn't it, versus the, uh, versus the claws of the wolf. Oh, going for the quick score to get the draw. Oh yeah, plus there's the wizard. Plus there's the wizard. So actually, mm, yeah, okay, the wizard. The wizard mean makes the DACA worse anyway. We're just gonna we're just gonna go for a one turn. On. Surely not a one turn. Surely just like not many players though. This I mean this is tough, isn't it? This is a tough drive at this point. Few players versus wolves is is always scary. Yeah, probably. Uh, oh, could Daka, right? Could Daka, but yeah, prob probably. Uh, probably not going to work, is it, the Daka? Yeah, get the 1 0 and take the draw. Doesn't get the push. Not Blood Bowl 3. Not Blood Bowl 3, so can't re roll it. <laughs> I mean, could re roll it, but re rolling it is a bit, bit too spicy, isn't it, in Blood Bowl 2? Whereas Blood Bowl 3, you can re roll it and then you've still got a re roll left for everything else. It's pretty hard to justify the reroll. Like it's it's very hard to reroll it. It is very hard to reroll. But yeah, maybe you should reroll it. The good thing is in Blood Bowl three, obviously you reroll that all day, don't you? Because uh, because you you still got rerolls for the rest of the sequence. It is pretty fucked. Yeah, yeah it is pretty fucked. Yeah. Yep. And he's just got Adj he's got an Adj four wolf and a mighty blow wolf. To tidy anything up that happens. Tackle on the ball. Ooh. Not such a fan of, of having the edge four committed. I think I'd rather commit the mighty and leave the edge four back as the safety. Oh wow, I'm not leaving anyone back, only only the ghoul back as a safety. We've transitioned into a DACA here. <laughs> More or less. Not not so much a DACA as the run away and hope for the best. 
the classic Blood Bowl. A classic Blood Bowl strat of, oh no, I'm fucked. I better just run away and hope something happens. <laughs> Ooh, wow, goes in on that guy. I guess kind of have to because he's so fast in that fall. Yeah, screen him. Oh god, now the position looks a lot more fucked. I really like... I guess you can have one one wolf forward and one wolf back, eh? It's, pretty, it's probably the best. Don't want your wolves touching any more than you want your bulls touching. This is the prime ball carrier as well, isn't it? Because he can't get smashed by uh, wolves. Oh, he's got to fend anyway. Okay, well. There you go. Now he really can't get smashed by wolves. Because he's gone. <laughs> Mighty blow hit on the tree. Or claw mighty hit on the tree. And full claw mighty, not shitty blood ball three claw mighty. Tackle commits. Yeah, the tackle commit means we could roll some dice and scoop past. We can just roll another one. Double one. <laughs> nice try, dickhead. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was a chance. There was a chance. Just not if you roll double ones. Yeah. Yeah. Rookie mistake. Interesting, isn't it? Like, the tension on defense for like these kinds of teams when you've got like a couple of tacklers and like you want to get them in using the tackle but then you also want them back as the safety and you're like well you know the wolves as well you like they're fast where do i put everything it is pretty tricky like it probably doesn't feel tricky when you're the elf team like do you know what i mean like oh my god he's got these tackles and he's got these wolves but like i do think it it can be pretty tricky uh for the bash teams, like what you know, where you exactly put them. Like obviously, if if you had like four tacklers or six tacklers, then, you know, yeah, the whiz on top. The whiz on top is just brutal. The whiz on top is absolutely brutal. I I, I personally would have kept the edge four back because then whatever happens, you've got a bolt and an edge four recovery, haven't you? So I think I would have kept the the, 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 the wolf back personally, the edge four wolf. But um, you know, you can do what everyone can. Like that's the thing, if you're keeping the wolf back it's not forward doing stuff, so it is tricky. Wants to skill up his rookie white. Going for the handoff on turn twelve, not turn sixteen like Jim. Much better player. <laughs> uh, what he should have done though is Let's pause it. One, two, three, four. Unless he's going to double G if I foul this edge five, which is a pretty fair play. Um, even if he is, this guy could have gone like one, two, three, four. Like, I, I wanted to see, look at this guy. This guy's here, so this guy can go one, two, three to here, right? And this guy can go to there. And then this guy can go here. And then you've got like a full screen in case you in case you're one in nine. And you just left them. Yeah, you can't leave. If you're going to leave everything, then you put the tackle in front of the edge five and you screen across the whole field so that at least there's a screen. Yeah. Well, that is GG. What a big win for Danton. Terrible for me as well. That, must, that puts me third. And uh, 
If Danton can win his last game, he will finish at least second and uh, bump me down to third. But if he draws or loses, I will finish second because it sure looks like Squiggy isn't playing any more games. He was unresponsive for his week nine match. And he's been unresponsive for his week 10 match. So one would assume he will remain unresponsive for his week 11 match. Uh, they're off the top three get by, so the top three is guaranteed Elliot, Danton and Jimmy. The only thing is like seeding, that's all that's left. But w number s the first seed plays the third seed in the semi-final. So obviously I would rather be second and face Elliot in the final. <laughs> if we both get there. But that's a lot of games, right? There's a lot of games to get there. So, you know, chances are I'll lose before the semi-final. Or Elliot will, or Danton will. <laughs> If you throw next week, you might finish third. Uh, <laughs> you might finish third if you throw next week, even. <laughs> so, Because I might be able to catch you if you win and I lose. So it's interesting. I mean, because I, I think I will win versus uh, Squiggy. Right. So there you go. Um, no, I can't finish. Well, no, I can if Danton loses as well. Danton could lose versus Sick. <laughs> very. I mean, I think it's Sick, yeah. yeah. So it's very interesting. Right. So there you go. Anyway, congrats to Danton. Commiserations to Elliot. A couple of key, a couple of key ones and stuff there. One in nine on the catch. Big mistake with a tree, as you say. Uh, but really nice to chain back the wolf. Really nice to chain back the wolf, and uh, you know, really nice for Danton to stay on top and not let up when he got the big chance on defense. Conserve the whiz. Pretty, pretty nice play. Like it, it's trickier than it looks when you when you've got limited resources like that versus very dangerous elves who can break and stuff but the whiz in the pocket obviously showed things up a bit so there you go thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic